Good evening and welcome back to Let's Play Avedon the Black Fortress. When we left off last time, uh, we explored a whole bunch of Dorlstad that I totally missed up until this point. I'm still pretty embarrassed about that. But, um, so we found some quests. Uh, we aided Siobhan in, off in the Dorla Woods there. Now, I'd said that I was going to go back and turn in that quest, and I want to, but then I realized that if I did that, it would take me a million years to figure out where in the Dorla Woods this spirit was. This faded shade. So, instead of turning in the Siobhan quest, off screen I went back to the pillar that would take us back to Avedon just to recharge all my stuff. I'm here. We are going to attempt this thing again. So, let's go, faded shade. Now I gotta follow this thing around. Well, it does what it does. Sorry, I could have done that off screen and not make you watch this again. And it goes back here. Now this way. And that's the last of it. So, got it right here. Let's go ahead and uh, just get a save in here. Yeah, that'll be fine. So, we're gonna need you, Salamanda. Get with the team, please. Come on. Get over it! What are you doing? This salamander. Oh. Alright. I may have jumped the gun a bit. It'll be okay. And... Okay, team. Salamander? You're gonna stress me out, buddy. Okay. Here we go. Okay, so first thing, we want our Blessing of Thorns, I think. So, Sevelin, stay on that if you can, I think. Alright, and... How much can we daze? It's got a nice reach to it, doesn't it? Alright, we'll go for that. Well, we got one of them, at any rate. Okay. Where's my... What a horrible waste that was. Okay. Fine. Okay. Do we want to look at some items, perhaps? Fire, ice, could get a rat, venom. Okay, so this one is dazed. Hit these two. Decent. And then... It's lightning them as well. Yeah, I can war curse too, so take that spirit. Now then. They just keep on coming. Um hmm. I feel like I should make sure that I hit this thing. Okay, that hits three. Is that hitting the vengeful shit? No, I might as well just go this way. We're still gonna have all the rest to deal with, but we can at least get that one out of the picture. It's gotta help, right? Okay. You go help Sevelin. Alright. Oh boy, Sevelin. That's not great. You should have a potion of battle on now. Yeah. 
All right, a bit concerned that you might die a little. He is regenerating, though. Warrior's focus. Resistance to mental attacks. We want that, right? Right. I know that's not doing damage to this thing, but it seems like maybe good prep. Okay. Who are we on now? What do we want to do? We could do an ice storm, but I'm worrying that since they're icy skeletons, it's not going to have great effects. Let's try it. Make sure... yeah. Oh boy. <gasps> Uh-oh. Yeah, it's not looking good. Not looking good. I feel like I could keep trying, but at the same time, I bungled things with the um, lizard. So let's just try it again from the top. See if we can do better. Oh, whoops. I just clicked the totally wrong spot. Dang it. Over here. Okay. Now we'll summon it. In we go. Salamander as well. Get over here. All right. I wonder if I should mess with these. Okay. Natalie. What do I want you to focus on doing? Oh no, not Natalie. Salamander. Go get it. Now then, Natalie. Slow him down? Slow him down. <laughs> Alright. I don't want Natalie to die. So, yeah, let's focus on that. Good. Sevelyn, I do need you to go ahead and war cry. Yeah, I think that's going to be a good idea. Although I'd rather you be a little closer to this thing, but this guy can handle that. Okay. Now then. Searing spray. Nice. All right. No one really needs healing at the moment. So let's look at my items. Do I have anything I should really be using? I could use. Yeah, use some of these wands of fire that are doing nothing. Or these wands of lightning. Good grief. Lightning. It's lightning some things. Alright. And we can still have another move as well, can't we? Not bad. So then. Sevelyn, hit this thing hard. There we go. That's what I like to see. Hit it with some fire. Oh, that's the only thing. Oh. I think it's worth it to hit all of those. Okay. Now then, Natalie? <gasps> okay, that was that was horrible, but we didn't die. Jerk's healing itself. Okay. So then, we could Warrior's Focus. Savage Blow, we already did it. I do want to be generating, but honestly, at this point, I think just keep up the damage. Now then. So. 
I probably should have hit the bones instead. That's all right. Let's use some items here and see if we can. Yeah, her wands are kind of running out a bit. That's okay. So. Oh, it didn't quite kill this one. I was hoping it would. Oh, let's go again. Got another one. Okay. Alrighty, so now we really need to, um, yeah. Just standard hit it? Yeah. Okay. Can I heal anybody? Yes, I do have one left. Beautiful. Nice parry, Sev. I'm impressed. Cannot do that yet. Very well. None of these are available at the moment, right? Okay. Well, just a normal hit then. Oh. You're so close to dead. Just, yeah! Alright! We did it! I'm very excited about that. I was nervous. Enduring breastplate. You need that one. Okay, we'll just pick them up to him. Now what else do we have here? Standard silver necklace. Okay, that'll be good for selling. Candles I don't care about. And bones. Okay. So I want to... Oh, that's the problem we need to... And the combat. There we go. That's what I really wanted to do. So, Sevlin. What did we get here? Armor plus 26, but it does give him an extra endurance. Is that extra endurance worth a bit less armor? I mean, I'm guessing probably, right? That's worth quite a chunk more than the standard steel breastplate. Let's put it on. We'll see how it goes. And what do we got here? Fine tunic. Meh. Mage's staff. Not as good as what I have, but we can sell it. Not surprising to find a bunch of skulls in the Tower of Skulls. I kind of want to know more about this spirit, though. Why was it here? Who was this person? What's with this doorway? I want to go through there. Huh. Also, we got, like, this rune on the wall. Okay. Well, we did it. It was a thing that had been left undone. I did want to finish that up. So, alright, alright. Now then. What do I do from here? I do want to talk to this lady some more. See if she's got anything else to say. Also, did I go all the places that I want to go here? I think that was all that we needed to do still in the Door of the Wood, right? Alright, do we have anything new to say to Arelda? Nope. Nah, we're good. Well, let's go to town then. Turn in quest. Uh, what's going to be the fastest way out of here? Over this way. And we'll just walk off screen to the west. Boop. All right, Dahlstead, we need to go way up here. Turn this quest in.
Now I feel like there's more to the story here. With the beast and Mort's Cree and all that. There's definitely more we can learn. But I'm not sure who we need to talk to to get to it. Everyone we've tried talking to just hasn't really been very forthcoming. And these people don't really want anything to do with us. Okay. Siobhan's mission has been completed. I'm pleased to hear it, but it's no surprise. Siobhan has already collected his reward and left. I will now give you yours. She takes a ring out of a pouch and hands it to you. The hunter who trained me collected that. I wore it with pride. Now it is yours. Thank you. Is there anything else I can do for you? She looks disturbed. There's something I've learned. Something that needs to be looked into. But not yet. Soon, I think. Speak with me later. Is it to do with the Shadow Beast in Mord's Creek? Because I am totally on board for helping you out with that. Okay. That's it. I told her about the Shadow Beast before. Uh, I think we're done. So, basically, come back later, but not now. That gives me hope, though. I'm feeling like maybe what she's alluding to there is going to be more to do with Mort's Cree and the Shadow Beast in that situation. She's learned something disturbing recently. I, I don't know. I feel like it probably... I think it could well be that. Uh, well, right now, because curiosity is eating away at me, let's go back to Goldcrag. We've gained some levels since we've been there. I really want to know if people are willing to give us more quests now, or we've, if we can find... You know, we've got stuff to do there. So... We'll have to pop by Avedon first, but I think, let's double check our quest, but I think we kind of did what we could here at the moment, right? Yeah, none of these are, none of these are Chimeria quests. I mean, the Beast of Chimeria, but at that point we need to go back to Avedon and report in. Although I think I'm not going to report in just at the moment. I don't know. I want to hold off on that in case there's, I stopped my team from moving. Whoops. So, to Avedon. Alrighty. So, we want to go... Oh! You emerge from the portal slowly. If you move too quickly after being magically wrenched across Linnaeus, the headache is murderous. As your vision clears, you're surprised to see Janelle waiting for you. It's odd seeing her outside of the garden. Welcome back to Avedon, she says. I've been speaking with the other hands. Now I must talk to you. All right. What's going on, Janelle? I was told that you met several tribesmen from the Wild Realm. You were hiding in Chimeria, scared of the power of Avedon. Is this true? Yeah, I did meet them. And they were messing around in the Wild Realm where they did not belong. They're going to get in trouble. So yeah, they were there. Well, what do you want to know? <laughs> it's true, but I don't see it as important. No, they were there. What about them? I don't need to know about them. Their story is an old one. I need to talk to you about us, about what we will do. What? Those hiding tribesmen, they were only trying to enforce the right of the roads, one of the oldest traditions of my people. All tribes are allowed to take tolls from those who cross their lands. Avedon has decided, over the last few years, to steal it from us. And I have argued against this, and I still will. Hey, you guys joined the pact. You joined the pact, you decided to do it, in the pact, the roads are open to anyone. If you have a problem with it, then change it within the laws of the pact. But we're not making exceptions for people who go off and hide in the Wild Realm and cause trouble there. Why is it so important to be able to toll people on the roads anyhow? Because for many tribes on the poorer stretches of land, the tolls of those who pass is a major source of food and coin. Families will starve because of this, for a right we've had for centuries. I don't know, again, I'm just not feeling that much sympathy. Your nation chose to join the pact. If you wanted to keep your tolls, then you shouldn't have... Alright, why did Avedon take the right away? Because they have declared that certain roads, many roads, will be free for travel, purely unencumbered for all. Which really sounds like it would be good for trade. This sounds perfectly fair, of course, until it is your land that is being taken and controlled. I don't know, like I said begin before, I live in Michigan and we don't have toll roads... I hate when I travel out of state and I have to deal with toll roads. I'm I'm not into toll roads. I don't feel sympathy for the people who want to toll the roads. Nope. If you don't have tolls on the roads, then I think it encourages people to travel, and it's going to encourage trade. I, I think that that would be better for economies overall than the tolls you would collect. Yeah, so, all right. What do you intend to do about it, Janelle? I've not decided. Never before has Avedon acted against the customs of the Wild Realm in such a blatant manner. 
I need to argue more, of course. But meanwhile, this folk of the tribes are lost in Camaria, starving and alone. Uh, you should forget them. You have duties here. If you want to be part of Avedon, a hand of Avedon, then you have your duties to Avedon. And if you're worried about your, the tolls that are so important to you, then uh, figure out the way to change the law in Avedon. Talk to the people that you need to talk to about that to make that happen. Or not, not within the pact, whatever the process is, right? But I'm not going to help you aid and abet or encourage you to aid and abet people who are supposed to be part of the pact, but instead are off causing trouble in the Wild Realm because they're upset that they can't collect tolls. Like, nope, I, I don't feel sympathy here. So, yes, I've heard such things from the other hands a thousand times. However, but nobody can expect me to abandon my people, especially not to those vile Camarians. Your people went there. They decided to run away from Avedon and hide there in Camaria. That's on that. She turns and walks off, heading back to her garden. All right. You can be mad at me, Janelle. You're not one of my key people on the team, anyhow. <laughs> Sorry. It's true. I'm all about it. Evelyn and Natalie. That's my team. All right. Oh, let's look at the... Um quests again. Is there anything I need to do here? Okay, Tardum wanted to check out Nerei, so that's what we really need to do. And then the Librum we don't want to do, because I'm not stealing a book for Angevine. I'm not going to kill her for, for Febron either. I kind of want to talk to her and maybe let her know that he wants her dead. Kind of, Yeah, I kind of want to talk to her. And Blue Ore we want to find. In the wilds to the south, especially around the Jareth Deeps. Okay, let's go to Goldcrag and see what we can figure out there. Goldcrag, where are you at? Somewhere way down south? There's the pillar. I don't know, if I turned in my quest now, I would probably get something new. From the Quartermaster, from the people around here. From Craftmaster, but I don't know. I have this this nagging feeling that maybe there's more I could do with the quest that I'm missing at the moment, and I would have more complete information to bring back to Avedon. I don't know. I don't want to turn it in quite yet. All right, Gold Craig, haven't seen you in a while. Anything new, Tamaria? Alright. Any more information? Nah, we did all this before. Nothing new there. Who were... Shoot, I don't remember who I need to talk to that said come back later. Well, we'll just wander around and we'll, we'll talk to the people. We'll find it. What do we got here? The barracks. Seems promising. So then... Okay. I am still available for hire. She looks you over skeptically. I have a task in mind, but you might want to gain some more experience before you undertake it. It's very dangerous. Oh, come on! Even more- I gained some experience! Fine. Alright. Anyone over here? What a letdown. Alright. Tanner, you don't have a quest. Alright, how do I find the Jareth Deeps? That's what we need to do. The Sulky Cactus. We will pop in there real quick. Caravan Guard, Merchant. Um, have you heard any rumors? She hears many things. Tell me something you think might be helpful. She thinks, I overserved someone recently who had just returned from the dragon's cave. He said that a shadowy human was hiding in the thickets. Didn't get a good look. The fellow looked him over and ran off. Might be a bandit. Oh yeah, it was that, that guy, that dodgy guy who keeps showing up. Okay, is there anyone else in here to talk to? Seeker is Arnie, but... She doesn't want to talk to me. We tried this before. Will the dragon help you? Alright, she's done. Alphonse, you have anything to say? K. 
Can we talk? Nope. All right, very well. I'm messing around in here and accomplishing nothing. So, let's try... Oh, I can't zone out here. Can up here. Or just, just go here, team. It's fine. There. What kind of options do we have out here? Wretch Warrens, Seth and Zeri, Farlands. They said it's far to the south. Far to the south of... Of where? There's not really much south of here. That's all wretch lands south of here, and it's outside the border of the pact. Here's our bigger map. So where... Found in the wilds to the south, especially around the Jareth Deeps. How do I find those? I also need to find Nare. She's selling weapons to the wretches, so she can't be that far. Maybe in that case... I could talk to the town of friendly wretches, the wretch camp. They might have something to say. Maybe. It seems like I should be able to do something with these quests, so I feel like I'm missing something, that I've not made any headway on them. Alright, Wolfrider, let's talk. Okay, I want to know something. Hmm. Okay, fine. Okay, in that case, what do I want to do then? <laughs> Not high enough level to get the quest. Don't know what to do with these quests. I could go do the fire lizards. Maybe. Oh, I'll talk to Angeline. Whoops, forgot to do that. We might as well do that. I don't know. If, she might not even have anything new to say. But in case she does, I do want to check. Maybe we can tip her off that someone wants to kill her. I'd kind of like to do that. Okay, where is she at here? That's Herrick's Freehold. That is not where we need to go. But I'm feeling like she was... Is this her way up here? That's her tower, right? Yeah. So, we're not going to steal a book for her. We're not going to kill her. But we want we can talk to her. Alright, in we go. So, we gotta go up a bit to get to her, right? Huh. Natalie walks up to one of the tapestries and touches it lovingly. Callum work. Someone here is from Calendarial. Or just likes fine things. It's enough to make me miss home. Then she returns to your side, but only for a moment. Adventure is much more exciting, eh, Natalie? Alright. Angevine. So then. Uh, Fabron has sent me to find you. She tenses up in her seat. There's the sound of grinding stones from the sentinels in the alcoves. They've leaned forward slightly. I'm not going to kill you. I'm not going to try to attack. Huh. Fabron. Toady and a worm. And one who hires others to fight his battles for him. 
I worked for some nobles who happened to be the foes of his family. It is true. And they were then imprisoned, and some were executed. Also true. But why does he now send you to hunt me? He didn't tell me, and actually, I want the details. That's why I didn't really agree to do it for him. Well, I'm already brought low, a miserable exile, all for performing mere errands. Of course, she flutters her eyelashes, you could simply tell him that I am dead. He would never come out here to check, indolent worm that he is. I can be more useful to you alive, I think. Please, let us help each other. Just errands, you say, huh? Well, some of these errands may have resulted in bloodletting. Politics in Calendarial is that way, after all. But to still hunt me after his side was victorious, it's so gracious. Alright, so honestly, Angeline, this is a side thing, right? This is not a matter for Avedon. This isn't any kind of task from Avedon I have. This is just a thing that Fabron wanted me to do, and I don't really care about Calendarial politics. I'm not interested in killing you. Whatever happened, I mean, like you said, you're already in exile. You're living out here in the desert. I don't think you're too happy about it. So... All right. I can spare you and say that I killed you. If you pay me. Um, I do want payment, but I don't think I need to say that. She's already said that it can be beneficial if I just follow her plan and say that I killed her. So let's see what she'll give me without the threat of, you better pay me good. She's trying to seem calm, but she's clearly relieved. You're so kind. I'll stay here in my pathetic exile, but alive. Now let us speak of this ugly business no more. What are you going to... I'm not going to get a prize, am I? Ah, oh, well, that's all right. So, you're from Calendarial, eh? I am. A beautiful land. We said this before. I was hoping Natalie would chime in. What did you do? Why did you leave? Angevine looks mildly shocked by the question. Natalie suddenly, suddenly develops an intense interest in the tile work on the walls. Such direct questions about matters of politics and alliances are felt to be rude. Though, since you were kind enough not to attack me, I will simply say that I was the employee of one party, and another party, foe of the first party, decided to deny the first party my services. And so here I am, in a desert. Alright, what did you do in Calendariel? I made my talents available to the nobles for a price. One with my natural talents is always found to be of value. Alas, working for one may... may... ah, for one, made me the enemy of another. Alas, a soldier in a war started by others, that was me. All right, another question. So, you want to trade with me, huh? Actually, tell me about your tower, in case Natalie has thoughts on that. It's a humble thing, is it not? And it's such a dry and unpleasant place. But with the aid of my helpers, I will expand it. It will never be fashionable, but it should at least have the comforts, yes. Natalie says, you came directly from Calendarial to this place. How dreadful. Yes, she responds, though the icy peaks of Avedon are unpleasant as well. Nowhere on Linnaeus is as lovely as home. Oh, these Calendarians. All right, so you built this all yourself, eh? Yeah, we went through this before. And how long have you been here? Nothing new from Natalie. All right. Impressive helpers. Actually, let's just hit that again. Okay, so... Oh, that's it? No, tell me about your towers, what we got there. You built it. Your helpers. Can I buy one? No. Oh, I was hoping Natalie would say something like she could make one, but no. Okay, you wish to trade? Indeed, I spend my long hours here making crafts of some value, and I purchase from travelers materials for my work. In addition, there's a certain item I would like to obtain. I know we talked about that. The Librum, right? The Librum. Okay, so um, back to just the stuff you want to trade. Let's see what you got. Do you have anything I want? You do have a Sage's Rod. Spirit Claw. Now what I got's better. Opal Ring. 15 to cold resistance, 20 to curse resistance. Hmm. Wand of fire, wand of venom. Uh, I don't think I'm too excited about any of this stuff. Alright. Well, we're good. I'm fine with that class. I'm okay with lying to Fabron, because he wasn't forthcoming at all with us anyhow. I mean, he was all set to kill her with out giving us any information about it, so whatever. She's not hurt. I mean, she's she's out in the desert. She's obviously not happy to be here. She's not causing any trouble now, other than trying to convince passerby to steal a book from a dragon, but we're smart enough to not do that, so what's it really hurt? Okay, where am I trying to go here? 
I'm trying to figure out the fastest way to zone out. It's going to be up, actually, isn't it? Alright, I think then, actually, even though it's kind of short, um, I'm going to go ahead and wind the episode down here, because I'm going to be doing this twice a week now, so... Um, running this one and Dreamfall a little more frequently, but in exchange, I'm not going to do quite as long of episodes. Gotta, do, gotta manage my time here, juggle time with the family. So, please like and subscribe if you've enjoyed this. Come back in next time, I'll meet you back at Abaddon. Uh, we'll start at Fabron, and then I think I will go ahead and check in. We'll, we'll, we'll turn in our uh, quest for what we did in Canaria, even though I feel, well, we felt the same at Goldcrag too, that there's more going on. There's still information that we, we don't have the full story. But we'll go with what we have now. We can always go back to these areas and check back later. Let's see where they send us next. Next, Maybe the next place they send us, maybe that will give us access to these Jareth Deeps. And then we can actually make some progress on finding Nurei the Smuggler. That'd be great.